What's up, guys? My mom's name, my mom, my, no, my, my mom's name is not Joe. My name is Joe. What I'm trying to say is that my mom sent me over so many mint toothpicks. <laughs> Alright, guys, so for today's video, I went shopping recently and I have six affordable items that um, still look really nice. So I've got three shirts, including this one right here. I've got a leather jacket, boom, right there, and I've got two pairs of shoes. Uh, let's kick it off with the shirts, then the jacket, then the shoes. So you're gonna be seeing a theme of the color blue throughout this video, especially with the shirts. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and start with this shirt. This shirt is from Zara. I've recently been getting into um, denim styled shirts. And when I say denim, I mean more the style of the shirt because it's actually made out of 100% cotton. So it is cotton, but it's it's kind of denim themed. So the shirt that I've got on right now, like I said, it's from Zara and it's um, the darker wash of the two denim shirts that I'm showing you in today's video. So with the shirt that I've got on, I love the dark blue wash. I love its simplicity. It has a nice tight fitted collar. It's not loose it's not big it's just really snug and complements the overall shirt altogether. and because of the dark wash you can either pair them with black jeans simply because almost everything goes with black jeans or you can also pair them with a lighter pair like um, like tan chinos something a bit lighter because the contrast between the dark and the light is gonna look all right but moving along I will show you my next denim denim themed shirt oh, and of course I'll try to find the links for these things online if I can they will be in the description down below so anyways this next shirt is from ASOS I believe ASOS is in the US as well. I may be wrong about that, but I'm fairly sure ASOS is, is uh, in the US as well. This is of course from ASOS from the UK. So putting it up, you can see that this is definitely a lighter wash. This one happens to have cool patterns on it as well. When it comes to the feel of this shirt, this feels a lot more denim-like than this one. Like this, actually, this just feels like a normal cotton shirt. This is a little bit th thicker. There's a little bit more to this shirt. However, it is still, um, I think it's like 98% cotton. I like the white spec design. It just gives a normal light blue shirt, a lot more character to it. But yeah, overall, it's good quality. Um, like I said, it's thicker. It's a little bit warmer than this shirt. Um, just a nice, just a nice shirt, basically, all in all. And this one, again, it's from ASOS. Check the description for some more information. Alright, so moving on to the third shirt. Here it is, once again, blue. Ish. So this is a paisley shirt. Paisley is the pattern. If you've ever seen these like swirly designs, that's called paisley. But I thought that the blue, white, and black all went together really nice in this shirt. Because it is rather dark, I felt like that kind of made the expressive pattern a little bit more subtle. It's still way out there compared to the other things I've shown you, but um, you know, gotta switch it up every now and again. This shirt is also from Zara and it is the thinnest out of all of them. But yeah, if you haven't been able to tell by now, I really like my button-up shirts. These are the three in today's collection. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some shoes, two different pairs, also from Zara. All right, so the first pair of shoes that I'm gonna show you is once again not in my natural comfort zone. It's not something that I'm like, yeah, like this would be great for me. It's something that I thought looks pretty cool, but it's different to um, anything that I've bought in the past, and th that is these quilted high top shoes from uh, Zara. So I posted these on Instagram the other day, and someone commented saying that Zara can make some nice looking shoes, but they aren't necessarily the highest of quality. This is something that I knew already. Uh, for example, these were only 20 pounds. Do I think they're gonna last for like three years? Probably not, but for 20 pounds, it's really not that bad at all. I expect to at least be able to wear these for the next six months. Anyways, I'm getting kind of off uh, topic. So why did I pick them? Once again, simplicity. It's got a really nice pattern. It just breaks it up a bit, but overall, it's a black and white. It's black, white sole. It's a really nice shoe in my opinion. I can wear these with black jeans, I can wear them with chinos, I can wear them with blue jeans. So yeah, it's something that is not um, kind of normal, but like I said, I'm trying to expand my horizon for fashion taste. I'm happy that I got these shoes. 20 pounds, not bad at all. I just realized at the beginning of the video, I said I was gonna show you the jacket for the shoes. 
I forgot, now I'm showing you the shoes before the jacket. So this next pair of shoes that I'm about to show you is much more up my alley for the type of shoes that I normally buy. They're suede. If you know me from any of my other channel, my, any of my other videos, I love suede shoes. So put simply, these are a suede pair of butcher shoes. Anyways, I can never have enough smart looking suede shoes and I don't have one in the color of tan and now I do. What I like in addition to the simplicity of the shoe on top, it has a few quirky personality or characteristics to it, um, like the base of the shoe right here. It's a rubberized um, base with just like red specks in the middle. It's cool to look at and it's also really practical because it um, provides great grip for when you're walking around. In addition to that, the inside of the shoe has this cool stripey blue and white pattern. Not that anyone's ever gonna see that when you're wearing it, but you know, I know it's there. I think it's pretty cool. Right, moving swiftly along to the last item in today's video. If you're following me on Instagram, you may have seen this jacket in a lot of pictures. That's because I went into town and uh, someone took like a ton of photos with me in this jacket. And as far as leather jackets go, this one is not a bad price at all. I think it was 60 pounds um, from River Island. For some reason, this one really caught my eye and Honestly, you know, kind of links back to simplicity for me. There's not a lot going on. It has um, a stripey texture slash pattern on the shoulders and down here near the forearm area. Other than that, you know, just uh, two zip pockets, zip up and down. But all in all, there's not a lot going on, which I, uh, which is what I really like. All right, well, now that we're finished showing those items, that concludes today's video. Community channel, by the way, I almost forgot. Um, if you, For those of you who don't know, there is a Blue Mon community channel. You can check it out in the description where people in the community get featured on the channel. It hasn't been active for a few months now, but we're reboosting it. We're getting it started again and getting it going. So if you could give that channel a, 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 a subscribe down below, that would be great. Go ahead, check it out. Thank you guys for watching. Clothing is also in the description and I will see everyone next time. Dish! <laughs>